welcome brothers and sisters welcome to all of my subscribers be blessed in the name of jesus christ today i want to share with you a testimony about something the lord did for a friend of mine how god saved that friend of mine one of her daughters i want to say from a marriage that was not in the will of god so today i want to say to you again be blessed be blessed thank you for supporting me thank you for your encouragement thank you for all those of you that have already subscribed please subscribe please subscribe so that you can hear some of the testimonies of my life what the lord has done for me and if i'm standing today is only by the grace of god it's only the grace of god thank you jesus to you be all the glory as I said, I will be giving a testimony. So I want to share with you how the Lord worked for a friend of mine. Our God is a miracle working God. If he promise you something, you wait upon him. Wait upon him. Okay. So today, the Lord put that on my heart to testify. It was a, f a friend of mine that called me one day and talked to me about her daughter is preparing to get married without the mother really knowing about that. She didn't take time to talk to her mother and explain things to her, but she is preparing to get married with someone that she has never seen before. That person is living so far they have never met before. So the mother was a little troubled about that. So I, I spoke to her and I said, you know, you just have to pray. You just have to pray because, you know, God, work, he still works miracles. Maybe people might think like we are just talking about that, but be patient and pray and you will see. I will help you in prayers. So we will pray about that and God will work. He, he will have the last say in that situation. So her daughter, like someone that was vexed with her, no communication between them. Whatever the mother told her, like she was wasting her time, like I don't want to hear you and things like that. She, she couldn't, like she didn't want her mother to give her any advice. So I said to her, well, leave her and just pray and you don't have to be talking to her about that all the time just pray and see what God will do for you so one day I used to pray for her but I couldn't just pray for her non-stop until one day the Lord asked me today you will pray over that situation because if we sometimes we will be praying and it is just our flesh but when the spirit of God say now is the time there is no stop and there is nothing anyone can do about it so i prayed during the morning but the holy ghost put on my mind vicky now you'll go and pray over that situation for that situation go and pray and you will be registering like to record the prayer i made a voice on 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 whatsapp and i registered that prayer but first the lord gave me a song and i was singing that song you are yahweh but i was singing that song in french you are yahweh you are yahweh you are yahweh you are yahweh and I was just singing that song and afterward the Holy Spirit take control, really take control and led me through prayers. I didn't have any control over that moment. My flesh like was dead and the Holy Spirit was praying through me. After the prayer ended, the Holy Spirit asked me to send it for her. When I send it, 
after a few minutes she called me and she said oh my god my sister if you know what happened this morning when i woke up i started to sing that song mm -hmm. just going over and over i just kept on repeating that song and repeating that song and repeating that song and i saw that you the lord has made you send that same song for me with prayers and all these uh, like a prophecy the lord used it to send that like it's a prophecy so i said to him well you know god is just confirming you he is in control the lord wants you to stay silent and he will work Yo, the, 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 the lord said excuse me the lord said that situation is in his hands and you just have to stay calm and you will see what he will do for you and that's who that's what happened after two weeks her daughter came to her and start talking to her and saying mama you know I don't know what happened but like my eyes just open and now I can see all what you you were telling me I could not understand but now I can understand you were you had right all what you are saying is the truth mama I'm asking you for your forgiveness please forgive me because I don't know I couldn't understand your language the mother said to her I have forgive you my daughter I have forgiven you and you know you would not be able to see that or understand what I was I will like explaining to you it's only God that could help you it's only God that could help you in your situation and she hugged her mother and that's what was it so the following week like she knew someone before that man asked her like he she never saw him as i said she don't know that person that asked her into marriage see she don't know him so she said yes but they had someone before that person that wanted to get married to her they knew each other they knew each other and she said no but that following week after god had delivered her from that marriage that false that that was like a trap that same person contact her called her and asked her to get married to him and she said well i'll think about it and afterwards it was yes yes i will marry you so it's around it's about two or three months they are now married after several months after like eight months they prepared the marriage and all that because as I, as I said, they knew each other before. And now they are married, happily married. To God be the glory. <laughs> to God be the glory. Our God is good. Our God, he works miracles. If the Lord asks you to stop fornicating, because he wants to bless you. If you want the blessing of God, you will just put that fornication or that adultery or whatever you are doing, and you will wait for the blessings of God upon your life. If God asks you to stay silent, oh, I, have, I am in control, just try and stay silent and God will work miracles in your life. So, I will not be staying any longer. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. You know, sometimes we want to do things on our own, but God when we put like we give him our problems our trouble and say lord i come to you because of so and so so and so lord i don't know what to do with that situation but i know you my god my king you know exactly what to do with it 
and he will work miracles for us. So today that's why I will be saying goodbye. Until next time, be blessed and stay blessed. Remember God is love. God is love. God is love. Be patient and trust in him at all times. Bye-bye.